Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my let's play of Ease Memories of Salsetta on the Sony PlayStation Vita. And we're going through here now that we've obtained the key in the last episode. It's probably going to be a boss or something, I imagine. And through here we go! Sweet! Well, this seems like a good place to level up. Don't know what that is. Shall I have a look? Recovers 10% HP, revives a fallen ally. Ah, interesting. Just have a queaky, uh, queaky, a sneaky little save. Always save by those restore points, I guess. Christ! The following sequence will allow you to fight effectively. Obtain SP with charged attacks. Use skills to charge the extra gorge, gouge, gorge, whatever. Unleash an extra skill. A <laughs> gouge. Damn, he's kicking me ass. How do I do charge attacks again? I hold down square. Now. Thickly throat all of a sudden. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Probably not doing what I should be doing, which is it said to charge up something. Charge up your attacks. I think I did one then. Oh! That's wrong. Press the wrong one. Oh shit, Doran's gonna die! Actually, I can revive during, can't I? Oh, I killed it! I killed it! Yay! Oh my god! Thank you! <laughs> I practically shrieked. I think I was doing it wrong. I don't think I was really charging up my attacks or whatever it told me to do, but there we go. I still managed to kill it, so... That's interesting. So, are those the stones that we're touching to sa uh, to save the game, or? All oh, right. Okay. So it's a different stone, apparently. back out all oh, right okay so you can't double back and use that stone again I have to go forward Adol was suddenly stricken with a violent, intense headache.
Yes, indeed, I think so too. Ooh, silver wing, whatever that does. Hold on. Sweet, let's go. Wonder if there's gonna be more monsters returning back through the cave. Oh yay, well I was kinda right, that stone does have something to do with it. Oh, sweet! The silver wing allows you to walk between monuments of the same colour and shape. Examine a monu monument to display the walk menu. Select one of the illuminated monuments. The party will walk to the selected monument. Yes, let's. cheering for my awesomeness. probably seen our awesome talents and they want to uh, use us for something. Sure thing, doll!
Sure thing. <laughs> oh, nice trophy. Very stern looking man. Damn straight. <laughs> I am the great Leo, commander of the self setting army and the finest swordsman around. All right, all right. No need to blow your own horn. Don't you start getting cocky just because you took down a little monster while I was away. If I'd been here, I would have defeated it in a tenth of the time. With such skill and grace, you would have been left speechless. <laughs> Evil laugh. I'm probably gonna accept it. Yeah, I'm gonna accept it. Something to do. I can look for my memories along the way. Try and remember things. Oh. Earn some money. Sounds like a plan. First quest, here's how they work. You can accept quests whenever you want by checking the quest board in the inn. And every time you complete a quest, you'll get a reward from the client. You see that board over there? That's the quest board. Oh, so like side quests then. Da -da 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 -da. I may as well do them. No, I ignored your commands.
That's my quest. <laughs> Quests are displayed on the quest board in each town or village. Examining a quest on the board automatically adds it to your journal so you can undertake it. Oh, that's cool. NPCs who offer a quest display a quest mark above them. You can discuss, discuss quest details by speaking with them. By the way, you have a journal, right? You can note your progress exploring the Great Forest quests you've accepted. Monsters encountered, materials found. If you write those, kinds of things down it'll come in handy later on it's always a good idea to take lots of notes open the camp menu and select the journal icon you can now view the following information story slash quest progress monsters slash material information and manual slash records that's all i've got to say about quests next i'll give you a quick tour around town so let's head outside okie dokes There are a few f shops in Kaznan worth mentioning. Kaznan, yeah, Kaznan. Let's just say it's that. <laughs> that is Billy's Curious. He sells all kinds of items from health potions to antidotes. And that is Thomas's Armory, as the name suggests. He's your man if you need new armor and weapons. Shall we have a look over there then? Yes. That is a good idea if I'm going to be fighting monsters. Merchants and service vendors have a shop mark above them. You can use these facilities by speaking with them. Next, I'll show you around the trading post. You can enter the trading post directly from outside or you can go the back way through the armory. Since we're here already, it's faster just to go down the stairs. Come on. Yeah, but I want to see what he's got to offer first. I've not got enough money! Aww, oh, I need more money! Oh well, it was worth checking. Always worth checking. Interesting, sweet. Weapons and armor have a total of eight statistics that can be reinforced using materials excluding ore. Weapon reinforcements attack. Attack deals more damage. Absorb, recover HP when attacking enemies. Critical, attacks sometimes deal critical damage. SP, SP gain is increased. Poison, attacks sometimes cause poison status. Paralysis, attacks sometimes cause paralysis status. Burning attacks sometimes cause burning status. Freezing attacks sometimes cause freezing status. Defense reduces damage received from enemy attacks. Recovery HP slowly recovers. Evasion occasionally causes enemy attacks to miss. Speed increases movement speed. Ooh, evasion and speed will be a good combination together. I wonder how many of these you can have on a weapon or whatever. Yeah, we don't need to go through the element ones. The metals and gems used to reinforce weapons and armour can be created through the refining process. Refining ore requires a set, of a, a set amount of gold and coal based on the value of the materials.
In large enough quantities, certain materials such as brittle bones can be exchanged for higher quality materials. And you can do it free of charge as well. Very nice. I can increase its attack. I don't have anything really, so... Finally, we've wrapped up my grand tour of Kaznan. Sorry, what a pain. If you hadn't gone and lost your memories, I wouldn't have had to bother showing you it all again. Enthusiasm will last a long time, mate. Worry about yourself. Open the camp menu and select the map icon or press select. The following information is added and updated automatically. Map completion percent, terrain of known areas, towns and dungeons, material, harvest points, story and quest goals. By touching the mini map in the upper right corner of the screen, you can enlarge it to view the following information. Quest destinations, so we've got quest board, armory, item shops, special shops, materials and treasure. to go to the item shop. Thank you. 
Maybe I'll pick up one antidote as well. Right, I think I'll stop this episode here, guys. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie, and this has been my Let's Play of Ease Memories of Cell Setter on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time, guys.